Hey, Bobby, fresh new data just dropped on what the viewers want to see. Oh yeah, what's that? It says they love to be bombarded by ads the second they click on the video. Awesome, I'll get right on that. I'm gonna make this ad super quick for you guys so we can get right to the content. Thank you all so much for the support with my Colorado ZR2 giveaway. Every video I post and advertise it, I sell like 20 posters. So you guys are amazing. If we can keep that up just for a little bit longer, I won't have to bombard you with these stupid ads. But truthfully, I wanna give you this badass truck. The coolest truck I've ever owned, one of the coolest trucks I've ever seen, and one of the most capable and practical off-road trucks on the planet. Professionally built, $14,000 a mod. Posters on sale right now, $70. You buy one of these, you can buy up to five of them actually, but if you buy one, you're gonna have less than one out of like 600, 700 chance of winning. We don't know what we're trimming the numbers down to yet, but we're gonna be trimming them here pretty soon and then calling the giveaway. So give yourself something to look forward to. Stop betting on sports. And for $70, you could be driving this to work, school, your job, college, whatever, or just turn around and sell it. $50,000 cash. Whatever you guys wanna do, change your life. Click the first link down in the description and good luck. I love making these rescue videos because you just never know what you're gonna find and you get to save someone's day. These two inches laid really fast, like within an hour so. Yeah, the road crews haven't even gotten to the back roads yet. We're in two-wheel drive. I don't think this thing has a snow setting, but I don't really care. Someone was already skidding out and going down this hill. But we got four-wheel drive, big tires. We should be set. shoot drove off the road into the fence I'll well, see if we can help her out this should be easy traffic's not too bad only problem is the car is like resting on a wire fence so all those wires are right up against the side of the car they're gonna scratch the paint fun day I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. yeah well Thank us once it's out. Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah, I hope It'd be easy as hell if it wasn't for that fence being there. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna pull forward. I think so. Back, it's just gonna want to keep on sliding. So forward, at least we have a chance. If you can't get that to work, I have a soft shackle somewhere in my truck. I'll have to dig it out in the in the bed. Soft shackle. Yeah, it's just a rope shackle. It's rated to like 30,000 pounds. My truck bed is destroyed because all the spare stuff from taking off the fenders and everything is in here. Yeah, this guy wants to pull from the back. I told him it's, just, it's gonna be way, that's way too risky. It's gonna cause a lot more damage than it needs to. But his chain won't fit through the tow loop on the front, so I'm trying to find my soft shackle from Yang. All right, well, I have my other Yang strap here. It's like has a soft loop on it. It's not my the shackle that I need, but hopefully it can fit through the front recovery hook. I cannot believe I don't have it in my truck. I have two of them somewhere. I just don't know where they're at. I don't got it, but it's in my other truck. What's that? I don't get it's in my other truck. All right. All I got is this rope here that we could feed through. Hopefully these hooks are big enough to get this through. I could probably try. It's the freaking skid plate. No, nah, there ain't no way. Oh, I found it. Hey, man. Hey, I found it. This is what goes through on the front. So if we hook up on the front here, we can use my strap or your chains. They either or fits through this. Yeah, we already got him turning around now. So we'll, get, we'll just go ahead with the way we're You want to go in the back? Yeah. 
That's what she said. All right, mark my word. This is exactly what's going to happen. He's going to pull it from the back here. It's going to it's going to rub the wires on the side of the car the entire way up the hill, the embankment. That post back there towards the trunk is going to hook her front bumper in some way and cause some significant damage. I guarantee you that's what's going to happen. You got all of these wires up against the car and this pole head not out here. Well, South Hanover Township salt in the roads for us at least. I would have hooked right to the passenger side hook right here and pulled it directly into that person's yard just to get it away from this fence. We're going to run it backwards and it's going to go straight into that pole. 30 years of experience here. Let's see how it goes. Take it, put the car in neutral and then take your foot off the brake. Okay. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> hey man, you want to drive instead of your wife? Washer fluid, that's all that is. It's gonna have to get replaced. Wow. Oh no. I could have saved that woman so much time and so much money. I literally got here a car length too late. One car length too late to save her. Yank strap soft shackles and they're like shock recovery ropes. Would have been so much better for that car. This dude claims he has 30 years of recovery experience and that's what he does. It's just frustrating because I knew what was coming and that poor woman just had to let it happen. I should have stopped that guy. Like who the hell was he? Oh man, that sucks, dude. With YouTube videos, there's always a debate. So I feel like the obvious answer was to do this, which I'm about to illustrate here with my sick Hot Wheels and a car bar box. Just to give you guys an idea of what I would have done as opposed to what this guy did. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Maybe neither of my ideas were correct and there's a safer option that I just don't know about. So let me know down in the comments how you would have safely recovered this vehicle without damaging it. So the right car here, that is our Mitsubishi Outlander that is up against the fence. So as you saw in the video, he pulls it back. It caused it to run to the fence post and the gnarled up wire, which got snagged in the bump ripped it off and also destroyed a bunch of interior stuff there too because the wire went like way up into the bumper and cut everything. So that is an absolute no-no. Now onto the way that I would have done it. The Mitsubishi's in the same position here. I would have hooked up to the one tow hook that was available, had her cut the wheel as hard as she could to the left and let my truck do all the work and pull it across the road. It's hard for me to describe the angles that I would have done this at, but I would have made sure that there'd be no digging in or anything like that. It just would have been a nice, safe, easy, essentially turn away from the wires. And as you can see with this method is it immediately relieves the pressure on all the wires up against the car so it prevents scratching and any more damage that would come from running at a fence post or anything like that so which idea would you guys have taken option a or option b nevertheless here's our track record with some off-road recoveries we had this massive sewage truck that was stuck in like a foot of mud successful recovery with this wasn't too difficult zr2 doing just fine pulling this out and the guy was very very thankful no damage to that vehicle with my colorado zr2 we were able to use the winch to get this bmw out of the snow again no damage and the owners were very very thankful This one was immediately after the car got T-boned. We were able to pull it off the road with the permission of the Pennsylvania State Police because the accident happened on the top of a blind hill. So it was really nice to help this family out since this was a student driver who wrecked their car. So again, able to help the family out. They were very, very happy. No damage caused by us to the vehicle, but it was already involved in a wreck. And then probably the most impressive, me rescuing Mike's Gen 3 Raptor with two broken tie rods 100 feet down a hill. We had to daisy chain all of our recovery straps together and we were able to pull them two miles out to safety. Just getting everything all cleaned up and organized here after those endeavors. I love getting like all the gear organized and cleaned up, wrapped up pretty and away for storage. I just, I cannot believe I fell through and did not have that soft shackle on hand. That would have been so helpful to have had for recovery. Yank has so many great products and it just sucks that even though I had them, I couldn't utilize them. But another great product that I just got is this little Gulu generator right here. It's crazy with everything that's going on in the world right now. I feel like I've been saying that now for like three years, but it still reigns true. It's getting hairier and hairier by the day. So I actually went out of my way to find companies that wanted to work together. Uh, this isn't paid promotion, but this Gulu company 
sent out this sick, I mean, it's it's pretty big. This is an electric little generator here. So you just charge it up and then it runs pretty much everything you can hook up to it. USB, USB-C, you got your car charger here, 12 volt charger, there's a little flashlight, which is sick. And this can give you up to 99 hours, so almost 100 hours on a full charge. One cool thing that they're also sending out is the solar panel bank, it, like you can hook up to this. So let's say everything goes out. It's like, well, we only have our Gulu charger here for another couple hours. But if you have the solar charger, you just hook up this little solar bank next to it and it can charge everything up. I like prepping for stuff like that. Along with those little portable chargers though, I also like to have this, this, and this. It sucks that YouTube doesn't let you show that stuff anymore because that I'm super passionate about that as well. But yeah, man, the world's getting crazy. I hope you guys are prepping for it. I don't want to sound like a nut job where it's like, oh, you better be prepared, but it's great to be educated on it, have it, even if you don't need it, especially innocent stuff like this just for a power outage or anything like that. So Gulu, thank you for hooking me up. Not paid promotion, but it's a great product. I've already used it a bunch because for whatever reason, the power goes out in my neighborhood a bunch. But yeah, this thing's, uh, this thing's pretty sweet. I can't wait to use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out the giveaways if you want to support the channel in that way. If you don't, you could at least like the video, that helps out a ton, more than you guys know. If you made it this far in the video, say, Very cool. Down in the comments. That's about it. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and watch me some good old Send It Steve. Never mind.